welcome to one and all i am vasantha department of computer science gopal swami pu college mysore today we will start with the 10th session whereas in the previous session we explained principle of duality how to solve the equation by using true table by using perfect induction method as well as by using algebraic method today i am to explain regarding mean term as well as max term what do you mean by mean term max term how to represent that then what is the designation for mean term as well as max term that today we will to explain whereas mean term first i am going to tell you what do you mean by exactly mean term mean term is a product of all the literals literal is nothing but variables mean term is a product of variables where the variable may be complemented or it may be non complemented with bar or without bar for example x y z consider mean term is a product if you don't have any variable any operator then consider as a dot operator mean term is a product of all the literals with or without bar variable literal means variables if the variable may have complement or it may does not have any complement mean term is a product of all the literals with or without bar it may contains bar or it may not contains any bar that is mean term for example in the max term if i want to say max term is a sum of all the literals with or without bar for example x plus y plus z see it is mean term and mean term what exactly it states that mean term represent product of all the literals with or without complement with or without bar in the same way max term is a sum of here plus operator means sum it's a sum of all the literals with or without complement this variable may contains complement or it may not contains any complement but the main definition here in mean term represents product of all the literals with or without bar in the max term it is a sum of all the literals with or without complement in the mean term if it is zero it represents then for example consider x is the variable if a zero it will convert it as x bar complement it represents bar if it is zero it represents it is a complement variable if it is represents one then it does not have any complement in mean term see in mean term see the definition mean term is a product of product means a dot multiplication it's a product of all the literals literals and variables variables with or without complement iga idike x bar y bar anta thagondidivi adu complement agirabodu athwa agilde nu kuda irabodu with or without complement and here it represents 0 to x bar whatever variable it will convert it represents in bar format if it is 1 then it does not have any complement here this is regarding mean term in the same way for max term definition is it's a sum of sum and plus sum of all the literals with or without complement see the difference between these two here is the product of all the literals here it is a sum of all the literals where the literals may have complement or it does not have any complement but here it represents in another format if it is zero if it is zero then it represent without complement for the given expression if we have bar then it represents complement hagandre mean term anuvaga product of all the literals anta heltivi jothege zero idre complement na represent maartivi one idre without complement na represent maartivi whereas in max term it's a sum of all the literals and it represents zero represents without complement zero idre without complement baribeku one idre with complement na mention maadbeku this are the things regarding mean term and max term if you know the definition properly then you can able to represent how exactly the mean term designation how to represent the variable everything you can able to study for example consider you have the variables like x y z consider the variable x 
y and then z three variables here we are took then three variables means totally we will get eight different combination then mean term what exactly the mean term represent mean term their designation their designation in the same way max term max term their designation if you know this table then easily can solve the problems also here if you have eight variables if you have three variables eight different combinations you will get then four zeros one two three four zeros then alternative four ones one two three and then four ones next write down two zeros two one two zeros two one zero one alternative zero one zero one zero one zero one now in the definition itself mean term i told you it is a product for example i told you here example x y z for mean term for max term x plus y plus z where the variable may contains complement or it may not contains any complement and here if it have zero then it represents bar if does not have bar it means that one here andre zero idre in barbeko complement barbeko one idre without complement na barbeko now here x y z first write us the product and waga write on x y z all the three variables here we have zero zero idre in anta represent madbeko complement x bar y bar and z bar now take the next one same pattern x y z for the first two only we have zero then for x as well as only y write on bar but for z don't put any bar because one represents without complement next here x y z first one we have zero as well as last one also we have zero complement x bar into y into z bar this are the mean term now take the next one x y z only for the first one it is zero then only for x write on bar y and z are does not represents bar because if it is one without complement next x y z first one we have one that's why i don't put any complement for the next two we have to write complement y bar z bar next here x y z for the first one here we have one that's why i don't put any complement only for the second one you have to put complement now x y z but first two have one only for zero you have to put complement next x y z x y z all the three are one that's why i don't put any complement this represents a mean term for the variable x y z then how to represent the designation for the first one m not mean term is compulsory you have to write in small letter max term is compulsory you have to write in capital letter mean term andre small alli barbeku max term andre capital alli barbeku m na now here m not then next m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and then m3 m4 m5 m6 and then this represents m7 m1 if the variable x bar y bar z bar then the designation will be m not x bar y bar z m1 represent the designation x bar y z bar m2 x bar y z m3 x y bar z bar m4 x y bar z m5 x y z bar m6 x y z m7 this represents a mean term then in the max term already i told you in the example it is a sum of all the literals where the way literals may be complement or without complement and here it's just reverse of that if it is zero then it does not contains any complement if it is one then only it contains a complement these are the things regarding max term andre zero idre complement hak bardu one idre matra complement hak beku now for the same variables these are the variables these are the variables 
then how to represent the max term same pattern write down but here x plus y plus z write down x plus in between whereas in min term dot operator we are writing whereas in max term sum operator we are writing but here if you have one if you have one then only you have to put complement here we have zero then don't put any complement for the variable zero idre complement hak bardu one idre matra complement hak beku next x plus y plus z see the variables x y and z one idre en madbeku complement hak beku andre only for z you have to put complement here next once again x plus y plus z only second one this complement then x y bar plus z now x plus y plus z x plus y plus z in this equation only for these two have to put complement one idre matra complement hakbeku x bar and z bar next write down x plus y plus z now only for the first one they have to put complement next x plus y plus z x plus y plus z now see the equation only for first and last one you have to put complement x bar and z bar next write down x plus y plus z see the equation only for the first two we have to put complement next last one x plus y plus z x plus y plus z here for all the three we have one then for all the three to put complement now is it clear then how to represent the designation x plus y plus z represents capital m not this is a designation this represents m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and then this represents m Seven. These are the things regarding mean term and max term. See, I'm going to recall once again. Mean term is nothing but product of all the variables with or without complement. Mean term is a product of all the variables with or without complement. And here it will convert zero to bar and one to without bar. Whereas in the, if you come to max term, max term is a sum of all the literals. Sum of and the plus operator is the sum of all the literals with or without bar. It may contain bar or it may does not contain any bar. But here it converts zero to without bar variable and one to with bar variable. These are the variables. If I want, I can take for two variables also. Whereas here I have written for three variables, x, y, z. Three variables means totally eight different combinations will get. If it is two variable, then totally different four combinations we will get. That also we will go to explain in the next class. See here, mean term is product of all the variables. Wherever we have zero, there you have to put complement. And first one, all the variables if it is complemented, all the three variables if it is complemented, then it is called as M not is the designation. If only first two variables out of three, if it is complemented, then M1 is the designation. Like this, one by one will represent the designation. Whereas max term, it is a sum of all the literals. Sum on the plus, plus of all the literals. But here in this case, zero represents without bar and one represents with bar. And here also we want to representing the designation in capital letter. Main term will represent in small letter and max term we will represent in capital letter. Next class, we will continue with the remaining thing. Thank you all of you.